going to show you how to earn a hundred percent on your money investing in rental properties. Dave and Kale, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and uh, this is the show, guys, on Holton Wise TV, the most interactive show we do. We work one-on-one. On one. Ah, couldn't get that out. Work one-on-one, -on -one, right? You guys work with me and my team directly. We do real deals, right? We're not like those other folks that... Uh, teach real estate education. I mean, we, it starts with real estate education, but I see a lot of people, they teach real estate education. Then it ends there, right? They sell you a course about like a strategy. And then when you're done uh, paying them, right, they send you off into the real world and uh, there's nobody there for you, right? That's not what we do here. We do it differently, right? We, we teach you the investment strategy, but then we couple that with actual deals, right? I'm a real real estate broker, investor, property manager. We have construction, we have insurance, we have title. So we're doing real deals. And, uh, these two dudes, right? Dave and Kale, I mean, these are some big clients of mine. Uh, they do a lot of Burr deals, okay? Burr, that's buy, renovate, rent, refinance, and repeat. Allows you to recycle your money over and over, guys. That's how we're able to achieve 100% returns, right? You got to do Burr deals. We buy distressed inventory, fix it up, and then... When we refinance, the bank's going to appraise it for more money than what we have in regards to our acquisition cost and our, our renovation money, right? That's how we get it all back. That's how we achieve these high numbers, right? So this ain't clickbait. It's not fluff. It's not lies. This is the real strategy. It's hard. It's not easy. A lot of things have to go our way, and Dave and Kale know that better than anybody. I've done a ton of videos for these dudes, and they have not done every deal. They've... We've put in offers, but not every deal is going to go through, and these guys know it. <laughs> One other thing, too, like a lot of people obviously like to do bird deals, uh, and, you know, I'm limited by what's actually available in the Cleveland market uh, to what I can sell you guys. So if anybody out there who's wondering, like, hey, I, I said, tell James I wanted him to do me a video for uh, a bird deal in, like, uh, the Clark Fulton neighborhood, for instance. I really want a bird deal. And you're wondering why sometimes – uh, the, the lead time between videos is a little bit longer than we'd all like. It's probably because these two dudes bought the goddamn property. <laughs> They're trying to buy uh, pretty much everything, right? These guys are aggressive investors. So uh, I thought with all that in mind, Dave, Kale, I thought you guys would totally dig this one. Um, very similar to a lot of the stuff we've looked at. As a matter of fact, uh, we've actually looked at another property together on this street. 3419 Poe, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. Now, this is where uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys a couple clues that leads me to believe I can pull this off for you uh, that I would normally not try to do this, right? What I'm trying to say, I guess, is, okay, the property's on the market for three days, now, it's listed at 56900 I want you guys to pick it up for a lot less. I want you guys to pick it up at 35000 Now, sometimes when we look at some of these similar type rentals, I, I like to see you pick it up at about thirty. This particular property, I don't have like all the info, so some of this is speculation. I've only got these four photos, and it's actually only two photos. It's both photos. Well, I guess it's four. I guess... Like, this is a double, so maybe it's three photos, right? Four total photos, but we got, like, slight different angles here. But here is the deal. Even with, like, some of this limited uh, data that I have, I did some research. I looked into the listing, and I found some clues for us. And because of all that, I think you guys can go a little bit higher on your acquisition price. I think you guys can go to 35000 uh, A typical renovation for, like, uh, a lot of these these properties we're looking at, you know, after we do the cosmetics and we account for like, you know, random stuff like furnaces, roofs that could be wrong that I think the inspector may or may not find. I'm usually around like a 30K budget on a house around the size. I think we could say this one should pencil out to be about 25K. Um, that leaves us with a total investment of 60,000. Now, these clues that I found that I'm going to discuss also have to do with the fact 
that even though it's only been on the market for three days, I think we can still have a good shot at getting this low ball offer accepted. And it's all related, right? A lot of these distressed properties in this neighborhood, they're going to be distressed because tenants are just beating the holy hell out of them. And the landlords are like, you know, they're at wit's end. They're having trouble managing these tenants. They're fucking them up over and over. You know, turnover renovations, they fuck it up. Turnover renovation, they fuck it up, etc. This one, okay, different. This is owner-occupied, right? I mean, look at this. This this person, if you could tell they've maintained it, right? The outside looks good. It's nice and clean. They got a nice little flower bed here, right? The person who bought this that lives there, they've been living there for 23 years. They bought this thing back in 97. I don't know for a fact if it's a little old lady, but I get the little old lady vibe here, okay? So the home... Typically, when we get these types of homes, you know, we get these uh, folks that they live in these houses for that many years, they take so much better care of it than the tenants, right? So because of that, I think it's okay for you to pay a little more than I would normally advise you. And also because of that, I think we got a good shot at, even though it's only been on the market for three days here, I think we got a good shot at doing a low ball offer. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. Normally when I want to do lowball offers, I, I like the property to sit on the market for a little while. So you let the market tell that seller, yo dog, your property is a little overpriced. But with this one, I think the seller is going to be in a tough spot, dude. The fact that she's an owner occupant, Makes it cool for us because it looks like we're getting a better home, better taken care of home. But the issue with this is this, this, this person is still living there, right? So with this particular neighborhood, it's tough, okay? It's tough if you're a seller and you're living there, right? Because the only people that are buying in this neighborhood, we got a lot of investors that are buying. Yeah, they're buying. Sometimes we get owner-occupant people buying, but the majority of people buying in this neighborhood are, are you know, there's a lot of investor money coming in. But then we get owner-occupied folks, and it's, it's hard to sell an occupied home to owner-occupant folks, right? Because, I mean, dude, it's been in the house... 23 years I, i'm sure it's dated as all hell dude it's not going to be like modern and updated and then all the furniture and all the stuff is in there it makes it really really difficult for owner occupant buyers to to picture themselves and their family in the homes right like anytime you're trying to sell a home to an owner occupied buyer base if you want to get top dollar that home needs to be vacant man you got to get that thing fresh that's just for the cosmetics, but in addition, let's talk showings, dude. Showings can be a nightmare when they're occupied. Everybody feels awkward. And on top of all of that, we are dealing with COVID right now. Like, dude, if I have to live in my house, why I'm trying to sell it, I feel like right now it would be literally the worst time, right? And then back to the other people that buy a lot of properties in this neighborhood, investors, investors like yourself. Well, what do investors want in their rental properties? They want tenants, right? They want tenants, but this person ain't a tenant. They're an owner-occupant, but they need the money to sell the house before they can get their next house, right? So because of all that, I think the seller is going to have an uphill battle, man. I think they're going to have a hell of a time. So that's why I'd like to see you dudes. I know you're cash buyers. I know you're strong buyers. I'd like to see you dudes come in and see if we can't pick it up at 35. Now, truth be told, right, I would probably feel comfortable if I were you guys paying as much as 40 for this. I think it's going to be a nicer home. Of course, we will... Uh, still do our normal due diligence, still get it inspected by a third-party home inspector. But I think, like, the mechanicals and stuff, I, I don't think they're going to be in super rough shape. I think you're going to find some mid-range stuff, right? And we don't have to necessarily do uh, the cash-out refinance right away. We can wait a little bit to see if we get uh, some good appreciation from the fact that Metro Health, that's why you two are buying everything up in this neighborhood. You guys like this neighborhood so much. Metro Health's putting in that billion bones. And, you know, we talk about some of the properties, right? All the properties you guys are doing deals on, right? They're varying levels of closeness uh, to the actual hospital itself. But this one is one of the closest. Like, you literally walk your dog to that hospital, right? This is Metro right here. This is the home, right? So that's just a quick little walk of the dog. So I think if, you know, 
any of the properties are going to see a huge impact going forward because of that billion dollar investment we've been talking about so often. I definitely think it's going to be this one because you're right freaking there, man. So with all that said, after we do that 25K reno, right, which is going to, you know, the normal $20,000 of cosmetics. And then I got an extra five for like some unknowns, right? What are we doing? Roof? Are we doing a furnace? Are we doing a high water tank? You know, normally, like I said, I like that to be around 30, but I see some pride of ownership clues based upon the fact same owner 23 years and just the outside looks like it's actually very well maintained, right? So after we do that rental, what are we going to get, dudes? We're going to get a $1,000 a month Section 8 tenant, most likely. 1000 bucks a month comes in. An average of 464 goes out, leaving us with an NOI of 536. All into the bad boy for 60 Gs. I think it's very, very... Easy to assume we'll have no issues getting it to appraise at 75000 which will result in a 96% return on your funds uh, based upon all my numbers. I know at the top of the show, I said earn 100%. Okay, 96, y'all. We're friends. We're going to round, right? It was a couple percent among boys, okay? We're rounding up, right? So that's how you make 100% of your money, right? Because with this bird deal, man, you're all in for 60, okay? The bank's going to give you back 56250 if we get the appraisal. That means you're only going to have 3715 to deal, almost nothing. And I think even after you pay off the mortgage, you're bringing home 3588 So within a year, you've literally recouped almost every single dollar you've put into this investment. That, my friends, is why I think you're going to love this deal. I'm almost positive you're going to make an offer. If for some crazy reason uh, you don't want to make an offer, just let me know where I went wrong and I'll adjust on your next video. Uh, and also, I know that, you know, again, we need some things to go in our favor to get that price point, right? We're hoping to get it for 35 but I would be comfortable paying as much as 40 for this particular property. And again, man, I, I just think that uh, this particular seller, you know, due to a lot of circumstances happening right now, you know, that are out of her, uh, his or her control, I just, you know, I feel like you guys are primed to be able to take this one down. I think it's going to be tough. Uh, to sell an occu occupied home in this neighborhood right now in the current state of things. So two cash investors coming in uh, who are, you know, smooth, quick, easy negotiators. I think, you know, it's going to be very well received by the other side. So let me know, dudes. Everybody else, if you watch today's show and you're like, dude, that guy looks like he knows what he's talking about. Uh, in addition to what I'm talking about, again, we got top to bottom property management services. So, you know, we can handle these renos, do all the property management, help you guys out. So it doesn't matter where you live, right? Like Dave and Kale, they're down uh, doing oil and gas work out west, right? They're not here in Cleveland. Uh, so we're your boots on the ground team for investing in Cleveland. You want to work with us. First step is to go to HoltonWise.com, click the property search for sale tab, click the MLS search and analysis show tab and order a package of videos and you'll start working with me one-on-one. -on -one. I'll get all your criteria and we will get to work. Everybody else, if you're here, just to watch and learn from all the free content. Do yourself a solid and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys, put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Feal, author of The Short Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price to rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com.
RentTech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry, certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year. You get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in, so when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.